Hey guys, welcome back to Salem Cellar. So you know recently I did the trailer reaction for the movie The Lair. Well, I watched it this weekend as promised and I want to give you my honest opinion about it all and let you know if it's worth the watch. I'll be right back. So this movie was written and directed by Neil Marshall. It's starring Jonathan Howard and Charlotte Kirk. Charlotte plays Kate Sinclair, who is a Air Force pilot. Now while flying over Afghanistan, she is shot down. She discovers a abandoned bunker and inside the bunker is these man-made weapons that are like half human, half aliens, right? Sounds extremely interesting. So I went into this after watching the trailer. The trailer, I definitely got um, some Resident Evil vibes, maybe a little thing thrown in there. And the story just sounded really interesting. Now, as a fan of Neil Marshall, I came in with kind of high expectations. I'm just such a fan of the Descent movies, but I feel like this one kind of dropped the ball for me. Um, and let's just start with the lines. There's a lot of cheesy lines thrown in there. Um, we're almost comical at times. The CGI was a kind of bad. It looks like a man, like when you see the monsters, it kind of looked like a slimy man dressed in a suit, you know, and the monsters were very reminiscent to, like I said, Resident Evil. Um, the acting didn't do it for me. The, the plot and the storyline was amazing and it had so much potential, but I think they kind of dropped the ball. Now, I'm not saying I hated the movie. I didn't dislike it. It wasn't horrible. It just wasn't up to, I think, Neil Marshall's, you know, like level. I, there's a lot of holes in the story. Um, I kind of wanted more of like the alien aspect of it all, you know, just the story was great. The characters, uh, you know, I just, I wasn't loving the characters. I wasn't loving the lines, the dialogue. It was just a little, it was a little cheesy at times. I just think there was so much potential with this. Like to think about, you know, the the government creating, like, you know, the something lands here, it's an alien. The government is using their D DNA to create these like weapons, these like super soldiers. And then they hide it all with like dropping a bomb and all this stuff and like the cover up in 2017 and all of that. Like it was just, it was just very interesting and very intriguing. And I'm like, yes, this is cool. The monsters were pretty cool um, as far as like, they were just kind of ruthless. You know, they ate us. You know, I, I, I do I want to call them monsters? I guess I'm going to call them like man-made weapons because <laughs> I don't know if I like the word monster for them. But like you see them a lot of times eating some soldiers, eating people. Um, so that was pretty cool. Some scenes that I wanted to see head on, like there's somebody's face gets bitten off and it kind of like turns the camera away for that scene and you come back and the face is gone. I would have liked to see that actually happen, you know, as a horror movie fan that, who appreciates the gore. I would actually have wanted to see like that person's face getting like ripped off. I don't want to give away too many spoilers, but it just left a lot to be desired. Like I said, I didn't hate it. I didn't love it though. If, you know, rating this movie, I would give it a six. It wasn't the worst movie I've ever seen, It would, but I don't think it was really a great film. It was not what I was expecting and it was kind of flat at times. Do I think it's worth the purchase? Because right now it's streaming on Amazon. Um, you do have to pay for it. I would say wait until you, it's streaming somewhere for free. I definitely think it's worth a watch, but as far as paying for it, I wouldn't recommend it. I would wait until, like I said, it was streaming and then give it a try. Um, yeah, so, you know, I promised you guys I would watch it, give you my opinion and let you know. I say watch it when it's streaming somewhere for free. That's my advice. But, you know, if you are like, no, Carmel, I want to give this a try anyway, definitely go for it. You might love it. You might feel differently than I did. I Like I said, there's just some things that just needed to be tweaked here and there. And then it would have really been a great movie. And a lot of times I sat there and I kind of felt like this, it felt like a video game. 
you know, especially the opening scenes when she's going down in the bunker. It really reminded me like if I was watching a video game or like somebody like playing a video game on TV. Like that's what it felt like to me. And I don't know if I really enjoyed that as much. But comment down below. Let me know if you've seen this movie. I know a few people commented originally when I did the trailer reaction that they did see it. You know, it was a lot of mixed reviews. Some people loved it and some people were like, nope, you know, kind of felt like how I felt about it. But let me know how you're feeling and if you're going to give it a try either way. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll be right back.